Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a new study out of America has compared lean beef and pork to two popular vegan alternatives with regard to protein availability or actually amino acid digestibility. In particular, to children under the age of three, over the age of three, teenagers, lactating women and the old. Well, that's enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation. Let's see what this new study with regard to real meat and vegan alternatives has got to offer. This is a review of a study I read that was penned by Lauren Quinn, where she covers research out of the University of Illinois and Colorado State University, which investigates the protein values for real meat and plant-based burgers and the specific effect it has on children and the elderly. And there are links in the description below to the study and articles I used to put this presentation together. Plant-based burgers often promise protein that is comparable to their animal-based counterparts. But the way protein is expressed on current nutrition labels, i.e. a single generic value expressed in grams, can be somewhat misleading. This is because the human body does not use protein per se. Instead, it uses the essential amino acids, which are present in protein, but the concentration and digestibility of amino acids is different among different protein sources. To account for these differences, about a decade ago, a new standard for protein quality, the Digestible Indispensable Amino Acid Score, known as DIAAS, was developed by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. It specifically focuses on the digestibility of amino acids and aims to put more accurate tools in the hands of nutritionists and food assistance programs all over the world. This new study from the University of Illinois and Colorado State University leverages the DIAAS system to understand protein quality in real beef and pork burgers and plant-based burgers from Impossible Burger and Beyond Meat. The researchers fed pork burgers 80% and 93% lean beef burgers, the soy-based Impossible Burger and pea-based Beyond Burgers to pigs. The Food and Agriculture Organization's recommended research subject for DIAAS studies. They then measured digestibility of individual essential amino acids. They then used the digestibility scores to compute the DIAAS values. Let's take a look at the results. Both the real beef and pork burgers served without buns scored as excellent sources of protein with a DIAS score of 100 plus, and that was for people of all ages. The Impossible Burger, when served without a bun, also scored an excellent protein source for children of ages three and up, but not for children who are younger than three years of age. However, with a value of 83, the bunless Beyond Burger was only a good source of protein for children of ages three and up, and not for children who are younger than three years of age. Hans H. Stein, professor in the Division of Nutritional Sciences at the University of Illinois and co-author of the European Journal of Nutrition said, we have previously observed that animal proteins have greater DIAS values than plant-based proteins. And that is also what we observed in this experiment. But what about the buns? Burger patties are typically eaten with a bun, so the researchers also looked at the protein quality of patties and buns together, because grain products like hamburger buns offer low protein quality. Feeding the bun and the patties together reduced DIAAS values. But when the pork or 80% lean beef patties were consumed together with buns, DIAAS values were still at or above 100 for the over three age group, demonstrating that the need for all essential amino acids were still met with these combinations. 
Consuming the plant-based burger, Impossible Burger, together with the bun, reduced the DIAS value to good for ages three and up. Mahesh Nair, professor at Colorado State University and co-author of the publication said, there was a greater DIAAS value of mixing either pork or beef burgers with the bun, values of 107 and 105 respectively for the over three age group than there was for the Impossible Burger, which had a DIAAS value of 86 if consumed with a bun. That means you need to eat 15% more of the Impossible Burger bun combination to get the same amount of digestible amino acids as if you eat the pork based or beef based burgers. And if you have to eat more, that means you also get more calories. Professor Stein of the University of Illinois said, it's particularly children, teenagers, lactating women, and older people who are at risk of not getting enough amino acids. Results of this experiment, along with previous data, demonstrate the importance of getting animal-based proteins into diets to provide sufficient quantities of digestible essential amino acids to these populations. Professor Stein closed by saying, this is also really important in developing countries where there may be little access to animal-based proteins, particularly for children. In some countries, a majority of children are amino acid deprived. That's extremely serious because if children don't get enough amino acids, their brain development can suffer. It's especially important in those cases to design a strategy for getting high quality proteins into diets for children. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative. If you are a vegan, hopefully thought provoking. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this presentation, and if you are gonna take the time to read the full study, uh, is not gonna change the mind of many vegans. And I, I fully understand the reasons why. However, if you are a vegan or practicing veganism, and you are a mother, and you are breastfeeding children, or you have children under the age of three, then maybe it might be an idea to do a little bit of research into amino acids for children and also brain development of children who are deprived of specific amino acids. Um, I'm fully aware that I'm going to get probably a bit of a slating off the vegans in the comment section below and I'm, I'm good with that, but just be aware all I'm trying to do here is pass on the data. And I know that for people who are vegans and carnivores, um, for that fact too, people who are paleo tend to only interact with and listen to people who are of a similar mindset and kind of sometimes live in an echo chamber. I hope that this will at least make you aware that there are other studies going on that sometimes go against what you're told is the out and out truth and there is no question in it. Talking about passing on data, this is another piece of data I thought was quite interesting. I'll flick it up now. You can see this is the share price for 2021 for Beyond Meat. Uh, and if you look at that share price, you can see they're not doing too well at the moment. 